Hi guys, um, I'm back today with um, upcycling. So everything I'm using today, well not everything, but it's a lot of scraps of scrapbooking paper and music paper and you know stuff I already had, some trim, um, I've got some glue, I've got a little bit of um, embroidery thread and a needle. And remember the other day I did the uh, image transfer on fabric. I'm going to use two of those and um, for this and I'm going to show you what I'm going to upcycle. Yes! I went to the post office and bought stamps and I always asked for this big large envelope and they were like uh, the stamps aren't that big but I said I need a big envelope. So this is what I'm going to use today and this is what I turned it into. So it's just a little, um, uh, also using scraps, little tiny scraps of paper, scrapbooking paper, and you know, the little, the ends that I cut off when I'm um, trying to fit the pages in, you know, journals, and I have all these leftovers, so I don't like throwing anything away, and I want to use them, so um, that's what I'm going to show you today. So um, this is the envelope here. Now, um, I glue it. Yes, you could fold it and leave it open, cut the top off, and you could, um, you know, cut this off, and then you could stick uh, ta tags in there, but I just want it to be a little bit sturdier because, and I don't need to stick tags in there, we're going to just use this as a little, little scrap notebook, and also, too, you could cut this end off if you wanted to and put tags in there, but... I ain't doing all of that. So, um, I'm going to use a little glue so I can glue down this um, tab part. I don't know what this is called. What is this called? I don't know. I'm going to use just two glues to make sure, you know, it really sticks down. I hope you guys are doing well. Getting ready, I guess, for the holidays, wherever, however they're going to be. I haven't even started decorating the house yet. And we're going to fold it in half. Now, with this, this is a glass scene, but, you know, it would be great if it didn't have this post office stuff on it. So, I'm going to um, put something on the top. I already chose... Where's my little, oh, here's my little picture. This is from the image transfer. This pretty, pretty lady here. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use, these are all from um, Daphne's Diary. Um, some of Daphne's Diary, you know, pages. I, I destruct the book after I buy it. So um, I keep all the, well, the book is beautiful. The magazine is beautiful. But, so... What I need to do is I need to cover this. I don't want to cover the majority of the glassine bag because I like it. You know, I want it, I want it shown, but I do have to cover up this. And then we're going to put um, some trim down the center, and then you got to cover the back. But when you flip it over, you can still see the writing because I would leave this plain, but you can still see the writing through the, the back, and I cover this side too also. So, like I said, I took the Daphne's Diary. This was something, I don't know. Um, I think it was Mother's Day book. But I really like the flower, and it's like in a teacup. So, let's see. I'm going to put that there. And I already chose this. This has bamboo on it. And then I'm going to glue it like that. And I just want to cover up this. And even though there's writing over here, I'm going to be bringing trim to cover that. So, just like that. And then I'm going to, let's see, put the picture right here. Let me zoom in and go up a little bit. So, let me just glue this down. I did make a video yesterday. I was really tired. 
So if you are looking for a video, I'm sorry. I really got to get on the ball because I want to finish before um, December the 31st. So I've got to make a few extra, start doing a few extra, um, maybe one or two in the day so I can finish by December 31st. And like I said, I really need your help to build my channel, so please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, which would be great. Oops, pull this down a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little in the center. I really shouldn't have put that much glue on. I forgot. I'm sewing. Doing some sewing. Did I put it down there? I want to see the roses. Hmm. Do I want it down there? I think I want it up hot. No, I don't know. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, right there, and I got some trim here, so I'm going to glue this, but I'm going to wait until after, yeah, I'm going to wait until after I sew it, and, um, okay, so that's that, and on this side, this is from Daphne's Diary, and I'm just going to cover this. I'm just going to eyeball it. Get it in frame. Okay. That's good. I'm just going to crease it and tear it. I'm going to save that because I'm going to use this piece on the inside. Now, I'm going to, well, I don't want to, well, I guess I will. Let me take a little bit off of here so I can keep that butterfly. And I'm going to have to lose some of the dragonfly. I'm going to put it right up against the crease because, like I said, I will be putting a strip of, um, I will be putting a strip of trim there. doesn't look too straight this bottom something is very crooked about it okay got to do it again it almost close to the crease here. I've got to put something here because of um, it's, it's right in there. So I think I might take a little bit of this music. put lace it still might show through oh I know oh yeah oh I have a little piece already cut hmm, you can still see the writing through it let me see let me see what do I have I can put this down just a little 
in put this on top oh that's what I'm gonna do just gonna snip a little of the music paper because you can still see the writing if I put just the flower on it the little um, and then I'm gonna just put this underneath like that oh I like that that looks good and let me figure out which side is the right side which I can't really tell I'm gonna go with this well that looks really cute so I'm going to stitch around here and I'm going to stitch around this and this right here that's why I didn't you know glue it completely because it doesn't really matter and let's see oh yeah I should stitch it first and then after I stitch it cover this up that's what I'm going to do now um, I'm just going to do a straight stitch so um, let me go sew and I'll be right back okay I stitched around everything I left this piece you can see here just to give some movement and not have it all because I'm gonna put a little bit of edging trim right here but I just left this kind of free and I'll just cut the strings off and see I kind of took the stitching around the leaves like that just to give it some interest And you could, um, you know, do pockets here if you want it. But since it's just a little, you don't want it too thick for your journal, we're just going to cover it with some scrapbooking paper. Or actually, Daphne's Diary um, magazine pages. And this is all jagged, but I'm going to leave it like that because I like that look. Make sure you put enough glue because this is kind of um, this is glassine, so it's slippery. So you really need to glue it well. it really good and we gotta find something else I don't have to put the same the same paper on there um, I do have this though that would be really cute in a journal I don't know if I want to use the rest of this uh, what else do I have hmm this maybe but then I would have to do two let me think let me see this one is left over mm, I don't think so I might use the music paper I, not quite big enough Yep, I need something a little bit bigger. Oh, let's see, let's see. What am I going to use? Um, hmm. Let's see what I got in here. Nothing. These are all my bags and stuff. Ooh. good I 
Of course, I don't have a, something pink, but... Hmm. Here's some more Daphne Diary pages. This is what I usually do. Um, I put it in a folder. You know, I just cut them out and stick them in a fold. Oh, oh, but I don't want to use that. That'll be a nice, look how beautiful that would be in a journal. Yeah, I don't want to cut that. Hmm. Those are just printables. Those are printables. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, here's some more. Daphne's diary. something. Kind of like that. Going with, oh, it's kind of peachy though. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I'll use this side and has the, the pink moth on it. Perfect. And it's the right size. Yeah. And I'm just going to tear tear this like, like the other side, just make it uneven. Oh, I like that. Let me take just a little bit off of here. It's a little crooked. A little bit off the top, not much. Okay, that looks good. And like I said, basically we're just covering up that stitching. You know, one thing I love about this glue, if you get a little extra on before it dries, you can rub it off. I do like that about it. Now I'm going to glue, let's see, I've got trim here and let's see, okay, right there, cut it. I'm just going to put it right underneath the stitching. I don't want to cover up the stitching. Like that. And which side is the right? I have no idea. Okay, we'll just put it down. Oh, I like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. 
Now I have several. Now this is cute. I like this. But it's kind of sheer. I don't know if you can see, and you can still see the writing underneath. Let's see, this one, yeah, I think you can still see it. What about this? I'll just have to cut it. I still think you can, oh yeah, that's sheer. Hmm. If I cover it, oh, this might be better. If I just cover it a little bit, would you still be able to see it? No. I'm just going to have to put some paper because. Whatever uh, trim I put on, you're still going to be able to um, see the writing, and I don't want to see the writing. paper right over just to cover the rating. That's all I want. That's all I'm trying to achieve. Let's see. And I fold it. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to have to put something some lace on the edge there. That's what I'm going to use. It's just the right width. So, right there. Okay. Going around, making sure. That sticks really well. I hope I put that on the right side. I think I did. it a little bit so I really don't want to cover the stitching but let's see right here need some glue and right here we need to glue it We're going to let that dry, and I'm going to work on the pages. And I'll trim the excess off the ends. Now I have some avocado dyed paper. I've got some um, graph paper. I'm going, to use, I'm going to use this, the Daphne's Diary. And... Like I said, you don't want to make it too thick because you want it to fit either in a pocket or a tuck. So, okay, well, we have to cut it off here. And let's see if I can half it. That might be good. And I can get two pages. Oh, 
I like that. I'm going to put that there. And then I am not in frame. Sorry. Ah! Can't move my paper. All right. I'm sorry. I'm not in frame. My mind is whew, somewhere else. Okay. Put that down there. I'm going to put the avocado dyed paper. And then I'm just going to turn this this way. So when you open it up, you'll see the butterflies. I like that. Um, we're going to cut this excess off. Right here. And you can do the same technique with just a regular old um, envelope, a business, you know, all that junk mail uh, you get, or a business envelope that your bills come in. You could do it with that, too. But I thought it would be kind of cool because I really like these um, glassine, and it's like, wow, I can get it free from the post office. Ooh, I like these. So cute. Now I have to balance this because it's too... Excuse me, too empty right here. I have to balance this. So, let's see. That's too much flowers. What about this? Hmm. Let me see what this looks like. Oh, I do like this though. The eyelet. But let me let me see what oh, this is really cute. Hmm. It's a little oh, it's sheer on one side. Oh, that's cute. And then kind of looks like something that you would, I don't know, put on not pajamas. I don't know. Sheer on one side. That would look cute. What do you think? Right on the end. I'm going to do it. My new model. Don't think about it. Do it. So, I could split it open. Could I do that? And then split it open. Maybe not. And glue it like that. And the other side. No. No. Oh. We'll just put it like this. Hmm. I think I'm just going to glue it. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to put one on the back. I don't think it needs it. I'm not sure. And this is coming up right here. Like that. Make sure it's pressed down. All right. So that's the back. And this is, see, I wish I had, oh well, I wish I had. Well, I couldn't move this over because of the writing here. I wish this was a little bigger so it's more balanced, but I like it. Okay, let's put these papers in. So I'm just going to sew them in. I'm not doing a three-hole pamphlet stitch. 
Um, I am just going to make two holes and tie it in the center. I think this one is just a little bit too large. Let me cut this a little bit. I think my camera is too close. It seems like it's getting blurry a lot. See, let's even these up. All right. And my needle is already threaded. Hopefully it's long enough. We're going to do a little knot. And then I'm going to open it up. I don't have to measure anything. It's not that deep. And I'm just going to poke a hole. just eyeballing it, not measuring anything. And then I'm going to go on the other side like this. That's it. Make sure it's tight. And we're just going to tie it in a knot. Try it again. And that is it. So see how cute these are? And it's upcycled post office envelopes. Glassing envelopes. It was really cute. Alright, we're just going to cut the strings off. Well, everybody have a good evening. And I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Bye.